declining temperatures, the sharks have come out to play. And so while we close in on our Texas limit, a quick, safe, and clean kill is preferred, but it doesn't necessarily guarantee your safety, but it will minimize the risk. All this up next on Next Level Fishing. When the tax man arrives, he won't hesitate to get an easy kill. And of course, it's all fun and games until the big girls come rolling by. So minimize the thrashing and make the bashing count. After the first set of kings, our radars have been lit up. And it doesn't take long to figure out that the man in the gray suit is swimming around. Just so y'all know, there's no Pokemon out there. <laughs> and the gulf you just never know when the fish are going to come out to play you can be hooked up the guy next to you can be hooked up and then all of a sudden when your partner gets hooked up she's going around in circles then it becomes an official offshore kayak fishing texas rodeo Facebook Live, I said, what's up? Are you still hooked up? Yeah. If you need to, just cut that line. You don't want to lose that fish. Uh oh, did I lose mine? Might have lost mine. Unless it's swimming towards me. No, she's still on there.
I gotta be real careful with this one because that leader I'm using right now is kind of on its last limb. I bet you I barely got her. Yeah. That's what I was saying, you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much line you got? Let's make sure we don't cross. Is she going to your? Yeah, she is. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna have to muscle mine in, dude. You know what? We got a little problem here. Oh wow, dude! Talk about a talk about a stunt right there. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. As long as the shark doesn't come and ruin our day, we're good. land this girl. Sit tight because up next all three kings are landed and our good pal David from San Antonio lands an absolute beast. Bring it up like on the side, grab her by the tail. <laughs> He's a king whisperer today. <laughs> yeah, grab the tail. Here, grab this pedal. Dude, dude that's, a, that's a 50, dude. Hang on, you want to find out right now? Yeah, let's find out right now. Check this. Check this out. Hold on. Hold on. What about that board? Let's get those hooks out, though. Yeah, you're right. Here, let me, uh, here, grab this one. What's going on, dude? Everybody. 
Nah, he, he won't. Oh, shoot. Oh, did he? Okay, hang on. Push me up forward. Nah, now we can get those. He's probably pretty close to it. Oh, he's close. He's about. He's gonna be about 46. 46? Yeah. We'll get a better estimate once we get there. But that's pretty dang close, dude. Yeah. You're you pretty good size too. Uh, they're all right. Probably about 40. Yeah. I got a buddy who I always donate my fish to. So. Oh really? Yeah. It's the best we're gonna have to do. Do our best to keep it cool. <laughs> there we go. Right. <laughs> you might have one good, maybe two more out of that. Yeah. One point I thought, oh dude, we're tangled because I saw yours and then I saw mine that I thought was yours and yours went underneath my kayak. Mine came up right here and I was like, oh, we're tangled. But then yours peeled off that way. Mine went back and I was like, oh, dude, <laughs> we lucked out because they're both going towards each other. Exactly. Okay, first one for the nose. Sure. Yeah. Let's see if we can do it again. One more time. Mm -hmm. We can definitely do it again. Dude, so I showed my, my buddies at UPS. There was about, you, should, you couldn't believe there was about 10 UPS guys all over the age of 30. Uh huh. Looking like little high school boys, like, oh, 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 really? Oh, oh let me see the picture again. 